Thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, I'm Sumit Swami, the Liaison and Recruitment Officer here at Northern College with Kara McComb, the Liaison and Recruitment Officer here at Northern College. And this is our 11th episode of Navigating Northern, I guess, because I stopped having a log of it maybe after nine, so I don't remember. I remember <laughs> there was one more that happened, but I was not there, so it should be 11. But today is a different kind of show. We don't have any panelists today. We don't have any discussion on a topic, but we are going to tell you about a lot of things that are coming up next week. And this is going to be very beneficial for you guys as a student because, um, you know, because of COVID-19 pandemic, you are not able to go to the colleges, you're not able to do the fairs and everything, but there are certain things that will help you in that sense. And there are some virtual fairs that are coming out. There are all the colleges, there are all the universities. There is also a fair that will come up that has all Canadian colleges and universities. So that is also coming up. So we'll give you all that information in a bit. Um, again, just because we do it every time, we'll do it again. Uh, a roundtable introduction, Sumit Swami, liaison and recruitment officer. I go out for the events, travel, uh, talk to the students, go to high school. Um, I have my own Northern College car that I took everywhere. And um, if you're north of Huntsville, you talk to me. If you're not north of Huntsville, then Kara will tell you what happens. Yes. So, um, yes, my name is Kara, which I'm sure Emily has heard many a times, but uh, <laughs> my name is Kara, and I am also a liaison and recruitment officer. And I do anything below Huntsville over to Ottawa, over to Windsor. So um, if you live there, if you go to school there, I would be the recruiter that you would connect with. Um, and yeah, this week or this episode is really exciting because uh, it is quite different than normal. And we've got a really exciting week next week for you guys. So we're going to talk all about that and let you know about the two events that we will be part of. Um, so Suma, did you want me to start? Yes. Sure. Okay. So we're going to go sequentially. We have two events. So the first event is our Ontario College Virtual Fair. Um, I think this is the one that uh, we are most excited for because um, this event is kind of the it's covering our normal CIP tour that we do, that Sumit normally does, as well as the OCIF uh, event that happens in Toronto. So this one's really neat because what they've done is they've created almost like a virtual world. So it's like a video game. And we will show you uh, a few videos and give you guys like more visuals about this in a bit. But we just wanted to let you know that this one is going to be like unlike any virtual fair that you have ever done before. And uh, that one is going to be November 4th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., as well as November 5th from 9 to 1. So um, maybe we can, do you want me to share my screen? And uh, I will put up the registration page. Here. Okay, can everybody see that? You can see that, Sumit? Yes, I can see that. Perfect. Okay, so this is the um, registration page or the main page of the event. And what we're going to do is we'll actually send out the links um, in the chat for you guys to check out. Um, but like I said, here's the dates. And this is kind of a picture of what the environment looks like. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to register for the event, install the software for that event, um, and then you get to create your very own avatar. So just like what we, remember we back in the day, where you get to create your own little avatar, you get to create your own here as well. Um, I'm a little out of date with the video games because I don't play video games, so <laughs> I don't know what the current one would be. But... Um, um. Yeah, and I'm updated with video games, so I would say it's not as interactive as GTA, but your avatar can run, it can dance, it can do handshakes, you can choose exactly what you want them to wear and stuff like that. I do have the software running on the side, but the software is very internet heavy. So we will just try for a second if I can do a screen share sure. after Kara is done with your part, yeah. and then we can show you a little bit about it. But yes, it, it is very interactive. It is um, 
it is interesting. There's so many things that you can do. You can also chat. You can also have your um, headpiece in and your avatar will talk as you are talking. So that is also one of the things that goes around with it. Yeah, so basically like what they try to do is create a world as if you were attending the event, you feel like you are attending an event. You get to walk around to the separate booths, talk to people as avatars and just try to make it as real as we possibly can um, because this year obviously isn't normal. Um, and unfortunately we can't really do it in person, but this is obviously, it's the next best thing. So um, yeah, so you'll have to download the software, create your avatar um, and then you get to experience. So maybe I will do the little video, Suman, mm -hmm. and then For we sure. can move to yours. I'll just play it here. There'll be no sound, I don't think so. Apologies for the lag. It always takes a little bit of while. So the part that you see is the venue, the virtual building where every college would be. So maybe I'll just pause it there. So this is kind of, as soon as you log into the software, um, this is kind of where your avatar starts its journey. So this is the welcome area. Everybody will start here. Um, and what's kind of nice, you probably saw, I don't know if I can get it back here. Uh, as soon as you enter, you have some screens here, which link directly to ontariocolleges.ca. Um, and that way you can go in and you can find your program and it'll lead you directly to the schools that have those programs, which is kind of neat. You don't have to go aimlessly all around if you do know what you're specifically looking for. Um, and then once you figure out where you want to go, you can walk around. We've got mountains, water, bunch of things, cool things going on. The world's pretty neat. Um, and then there's also an information booth. If you need some help at all navigating, um, you can definitely do that. And then I'll just continue the video here. So I'll pause there also. So in order to go to everybody's specific booth. Um, we each have our own floor. So not all the colleges will be in the exact same event space. We all have our own sort of world like this that you see. So in order to do that, you need to go um, in the top left corner. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh, there I will show so where it says go to. Oh, perfect. Yeah, Sumit yes. will show you as well. Uh, but you click go to and it'll have the full list of all the floors that you can go to. When Sumit does show you, it'll only show Northern College. Um, because obviously you want to just go to Northern College. So, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can choose from all of the colleges there. It'll show up a little bit different for you guys. I like that nice segue that you did at the end. <laughs> it's like, obviously, you have to go. <laughs> yeah, so there's also these auditoriums. Um, and we do have several topics that will be uh, presented on, um, which are done by collectively by the colleges. So I don't know who exactly is hosting each presentation, um, but there are specific topics on uh, those. And then they will be announced throughout the game to the game. See, I'm not calling it a game because we're <laughs> playing a video game here. Um, <laughs> throughout the event, uh, it'll be announced and then you'll know where to go uh, with that. Let me move this. That is the avatar part that you can have facial hair, different hairstyles. Yeah, lots of cool things. Okay, so what I'll do 
is I'll just stop sharing here, Suma, and then you could share your screen sure. and just show them. I don't think, let me see if there's anything else that we wanted to talk about. You can talk to everyone. We have info sessions. It will be all of the 24 Ontario public colleges that will be there. No cost to you. So um, I think this is a really great opportunity for you know, people that are going to high school, let's say up north, that wouldn't typically be able to attend such a large event in Toronto, um, you get this opportunity to speak to all of the colleges. So it's a it's a really good opportunity. And it's um, free. I will stop. And it's free. Who doesn't love free? Yes. It, it costs us money, but it's free for you guys. <laughs> so I will try with this software. Are you able to see it? Oh, yeah. So okay. that is me and my avatar. And when you, and then I can walk my avatar to wherever I want. And this is like the main foyer where you come in. And if you remember from the video, the information booth that you were seeing was right here. So that is that space here. And from here, you can see everything and you can see that building is right there. I'm sorry, my mouse is a little bit. You can also control it with your arrow keys, but somehow as soon as I started doing the screen share, it stopped doing that. So, so this will be the place where you can see the building and the whole virtual space that has been created. And I just walked into a wall <laughs> <laughs> because I don't. Oh yes, now my mouth. Okay, so now I'm controlling through my arrow keys and I will walk better. But that information, there is also an auditorium here. I don't know if it's still good enough, but that is a common auditorium that you can also go to right here. And that building, the one that you see is the main building. So if I have shift, I can run now, if you can see. It's, it's like a frame, you, one yes. leg, the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> so you can here. also dance too, which is kind yes. of cute. So if I, so let's say I want him to dance. <laughs> it's going to be very glitchy, but oh yeah. <laughs> Just to let you know, personally, I can't dance like that, but. You know, you are a good dancer. You were supposed to be a Bollywood dancer. Yes, that was my career choice for sure. <laughs> and then this is my avatar thinking about something. When you ask us hard questions about, about the criteria and stuff like that, <laughs> we can also wave at you like that. So hey, this is where, food. yeah. And this is where you go for go to options. So when I click that, if you see welcome area, college presentation rooms, Northern Region Expo Halls, college rep office, support, and everything is right there. So if you see, I would see to Northern Region Expo Halls, and I'll click there. And then for me, it only comes at Northern College because I'm a Northern College employee. But for you guys, it would be Northern Region, Eastern Region, Central, and all the regions will be there. And from there, you can choose the college that you want to. And as soon as you click on that, you'll be able to go to the space in a minute. Oh. Just keep in mind that we are like live streaming this. Yes. Um, so it, okay. and that is all, yes. And I just got that not responding option right now, but this is how you go to the college option. It won't happen when you're doing it, but we are live streaming it. So this is an internet based application. So it's a software that you download and it uses your internet to go anywhere and everywhere that you're thinking about. So with us, we are doing this webinar, we are live streaming it and plus we have that software. So our internet is saying mm -mm, too much. I cannot do that much at a time. We also want to be mysterious and keep our booth space a oh. mystery until the day. So and oh, this is just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So this is how it looks like, but this is a very robust form right now. There are a lot of things that needs to be done. People are working on the back end and they are trying to make it more Northern College themed, but this is how it's going to be. And this is where you'll have specific schools off to talk to. There will be deans, program coordinators, and other people to answer your questions. And 
at the end, if you think I want to talk to Sumit and Kara because I really love them, so we will be right here. <laughs> this is our space. <laughs> so you can see me with a white shirt on, and that's my avatar. I don't know if I can show the face of my avatar. I don't think so. I can do that. Yeah, you can spin. Um, how, how do I spin? I can't quite remember. We'll work on that. Yes. Oh, maybe if you pick up an action that spins, go see, click on your name. Oh, okay, I guess. Um, you know what, I'll just go to change avatar and just show you that. So that is where you change your avatar. This is pretty much the best I can come up with the options that I have. It kind of looks like me. Kind? Yeah, the hair. Yeah, that, that was the best part that matched up. Yeah. Everything else I don't think like, but you know what, that's okay. So I've that never is the... seen you wear a turtleneck. Oh, kind of today. Yeah. This was the, this is the only sweater that I have for turtleneck because <laughs> I don't like turtlenecks. I feel like I'm choking. <laughs> so, but anyway, so this is, this is how you make your avatar. And then there are other options that you can go through and, and get your avatar ready. But this is the best way for you to come in and talk to us and get the information. And to be very honest, it is very good for you as a student and very good for us as a college too, because we can have as much as people we can online so that any question that arises we can answer them right away because the coordinators will be there the deans would be there all the important people for the program will be there we will be there but we are just reception at this point because there are much <laughs> much more knowledgeable people out there than us yeah. so they will all help you out in that sense so this so is yeah if you want help navigating like just come up to the welcome booth like Simon said where we'll be um, talk to us, let us know a little bit about what programs you're thinking, and then we can always walk you to that section and introduce you to whoever's uh, manning that booth. Um, there's always that option as well. So I will stop my screen share now. And Perfect. here we are. Okay, perfect. So, um, Emily, do you have any questions so far about this event? You can let us know in the chat. Are you excited? Will you be attending? Let us know what's going on. There's always an awkward delay when it's, <laughs> it's us on video and then they're <laughs> typing. <laughs> well, until she types, let's start yeah. with the other event. Um, we will, there is an, un, or you know what, Kara, you do it because you do it so much better than I do. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is the first event, OCVF. You're going to learn a lot of acronyms when you hear from Sue and I, because that's just how we roll. So that's our first event. Then the next event, which is actually happening literally the next day and the day after that. So uh, just a reminder, OCVF is November 4th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., November 5th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then the next event is CCUF, Canadian College and University Fair. So that one is happening November 6th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. as well as November 7th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. So what I can do, oh, Emily, I will not be attending, but my brother will be, so this is for him. Oh, awesome. Okay, good, good, good. Look at you being a good sister, love it. Yeah, so plus I have sent the link for both the events too. So if you see the first one called Ontario College Fair, that is the OCVF. And the other one that you see CCUF, that links will take you for registration page and you can register yourself. And I think CCUF is also free for registration. Yeah. So it's free for you guys to get some information if you want to. Okay, so this is the Canadian College and University Fair. Um, Suman and I, we don't know nearly as much about this event because we, um, with the first event, like I said, it's a, it's a world and we've been part of the implementation and building the booth and just part of that whole process. But this event is going to be very different. It will not have that world type feel. Um, it'll be like a, like a, a typical virtual event that happens. So lots and lots of um, institutions uh, participating in this event, and they're all over Canada, like Sumit said. This isn't just Ontario institutions, it's from all over Canada, which is kind of neat if you were thinking about 
uh, going out of province. So in order to register, just click this link. There's a lot of information. There'll be live webinars that are happening. The exhibitor booths, so we will have our own booth um, where you can come and talk to us as well as the other institutions. You can chat live uh, via video or even text um, and real time with us as well. There's gonna be giveaways. Um, and this is how you register. This is the registration page right here. But it's really exciting. Like if you can't make it to the first one, there's gonna be a lot of the same institutions participating in this one as well. So um, it's really important to at least go to one of them and get some information and answer your, some of your questions. I mean, don't be nervous. We're all here to give you that information that you need. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait until you know the equal consideration deadline. <laughs> Try and plan it now and figure out that information well in advance. Um, and that'll be a way less stressful process. So uh, not much more I wanna say about this event. Sumit, did you have anything? Yeah, so we were talking about giving aways. Um, there is one thing that I have to mention to you guys and that will click and that will just make you extremely excited to, to go forward with the OCVF event, actually. So what we are doing is oh. that who, whoever comes in at our Northern College booth and who are interested for Northern College program, you have to give us your contact information so that we can connect with you later on because we are giving out a MacBook. So whoever attends, Woo! please sure you come and talk to us, talk to a program coordinator, give your information, put in your name for the giveaways, and then we'll have a draw at the end of it. And next week, I guess we will announce it in our webinar or maybe some other source who's the winner. And there's a MacBook that you can win. So that is also one of the things that you should consider. So you are not just getting the information, but you're also maybe getting something else out of it too. So that is also something to think about. Who doesn't want free stuff? That's true. Awesome, okay. I, uh, I think we have someone else that just joined us. Um, but a great thing, I know that uh, they came on late, but this is being recorded. We forgot to mention that at the beginning, um, but this is being recorded for those of you that weren't able to experience this, this with us right now um, and will be available on our website. So you can always access that. Um, we hope that we see you guys next week. Yes. We're excited. We are excited to see you at our OCVF booth. I'll have my avatar ready. I'm ready to dance because my avatar can dance. So let's dance together. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your turtle next and we'll all have a little Yes. <laughs> uh, there is a question. Let me just address that. Sir, ma'am, I have a question. Being a January student, first is about COVID readiness plan for Northern at PRS and is the fair for a January intake student also. So Harju, the first thing is this events are for domestic students. Now you can attend too as an international student too, and you can get the information because all of the colleges will have their international department there, including Northern College. But I guess for January 2021, it is too late right now, but you can for sure do it for September 2021. So I would still uh, encourage you to can attend it. It's free and uh, get the information from all the colleges. If you're interested for Northern, for sure too. Uh, if you're interested for any other college, for sure. And being an intake of a January student, I assume you already got your offer letter and you're thinking about coming to Canada for your studies in January. It will depend on your program. If your program is essential and it is, um, it is allowing you to come to Canada, you can, but let's say if the program is not essential, then you have to do it online from your home. And at the end of it, once you're done, when everything is okay, you can, oh, so supply chain management is not essential. Um, it is um, a regular course, so you have to do it online through your home. They will give you all the resources, how to attend the classes and stuff. But once the program is done, and let's say if it's still COVID-19 situation out there, you can apply for your work permit directly from home. Or let's say COVID-19 has been nullified before that, you can come in anytime and finish your studies in person. It depends on how the situation has been content. But again, at the end of it, um, you have to do the program through, through your home and through online options because supply chain doesn't need the students to be here to understand any 
a, let's say, practicals or any labs. So that is there for you, Jonah. But I will still um, come into the event. Please do come in, get the information, because that is the best thing you can do. It's, it's free, your home, in your laptop. Come in, make your avatar, make it dance, make it run, get all the info. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing too I want to just mention, um, I see that you're from the Purez campus. It's really important um, to get your information directly from Purez because um, they are completely separate. Yeah, that's campus. true too. And um, again, and her the, yes, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say the COVID readiness plan. Um, I addressed that in last week's webinar. So if you want more inf information about the COVID readiness plan, um, I would suggest going on our website and reviewing that webinar because we talked a little bit about that. Yes, and the reason for having a different time zone will not be enough reason for you to come to Canada. So they will say you can do your program anytime because these are pre-recorded classes. So you don't have to be awake when it's morning here and the professors are taking the classes. It's recorded. So when it's morning there, you can attend the classes like that. It's a pre-recorded video. So that won't give you the reason to come here. But anyways, we are almost out of time now. Kiara, do you want to do the closing bit? One minute. Or do you want me to do sure. it? Sure, okay. I, I can do it, it's all good. Yes. Um, all right, like we said, thank you so much everybody for joining us today. We are so excited uh, about this event. I hope you saw our excitement, felt our excitement. Um, we will see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Please tune back next week for another session of Navigating Northern. And uh, we're the best host and we'll be back. So Yes, and have your avatar turtleneck. That's it, that's all I want. Turtlenecks <laughs> out there. Bye everybody, take care, bye-bye.